hand and a heavier weight. Who's the main event? Okay. All right, Conor McGregor, Cowboy Cerrone, official. Now, I realized that this was one of the sport's worst kept secrets, but until the announcement comes out, there was really no room to celebrate. Look, we had so many of the clues. A show is announced, a venue is booked, a date is given. Connor says he wants to do it. Dana comes out and says, great, we'll put a whole show here for you. I entered all of these different things. Rumors that John Jones and Reyes are going to be on the card. Then there was a real fun dialogue. Well, if John Jones and Reyes fight on the same card, who's the main event? Right, when Connor's the main draw, huh? But Jones is the champion and at a heavier weight. Who's the main event? Okay, fun, exciting, good problems to have. But you understand for the last number of months, Conor McGregor, every time there's a pay-per-view when somebody gets a win that happens to be 155 pounds, he goes on social media and calls him out. So there became a little bit of a numbing process. One thing that we always had with Conor is when Conor said something, that was it. I mean, he was a man of his word to the highest of levels. Now, I don't imply for you that Conor's ever gone out and been against his word. He just started using a whole bunch of words, so it started to become really hard on what to rely on. And then he had this Frankie Edgar angle for a meaningful period of time where he's working this Frankie Edgar gimmick. Frankie's on his way down to 135 and thinks about reversing course and going all the way to 55 to get this fight. But it was one of those one where people just weren't really understanding it, right? And then Connor even comes and shares, look, I talked to Dana about the fight. Dana said, no, we don't want to do the Frankie fight. That's just not, that, that's just not gonna work. So these were a lot of clues, but Connor was staying on Frankie. Now, I have to remind you, five months ago, roughly, Cowboy flew out to Australia to do what's called a Q&A. Now, a Q&A is simply where he gets on stage, he has a microphone, and fans can ask him questions. But as part of this Q&A, Cowboy was flown to Australia to make the announcement that he was going to be fighting Connor McGregor. This was agreed on in principle. They had a date. This was done. Something happened on Connor's side of it. Whether it had to do with what the tabloids were saying or whether, you know, some issue we had in Ireland. There was never a total clarity, but he was out. He was out to the point that Cowboy not only fought once, he fought twice since then. And off the top of my head, he might have fought as many as three times. I remember he fought Al, he fought Tony, he fought Gaethje. Was that all in the, in the time period of the last five or six months? So now that they're finally going to get matched up, and you know, it's always hard to see, because don't forget, when Connor says it's red panty night to fight me, it's a celebration, that's true. That is a mega fight. And Dana will change your participation outside of your contract. He just will. He'll look at it and go, it's the right thing to do. It's the fair thing to do. Here's what you get. So when Connor says it's a celebration, not only is that a funny line, but there's a lot of truth to that. To see a guy like Cowboy, who deserves something great to happen to who's put in many years, many wins, done a lot of heavy lifting, have something great happen to him, like the celebration that Connor puts in, and then have the carpet ripped out? Oh, as a fan, oh, that hurts. It's hard to see. Cowboy goes, he does more heavy lifting. He goes in there with Al, he goes in there with Tony, he goes in there with Gaethje. By the way, all of those main events, so by the way, all scheduled for five rounds, by the way. One of them went fire. I mean, he put in a lot of rounds. A lot of rounds. Live. Aside from what he did in training. So for him to then be given that opportunity back is really a great thing. Right? It's one of those, okay, good. Glad that this happened. As far as the fight and X's and O's go, I mean, I'm going to tell you right now, Connor is going to go off as a favorite and likely a heavy favorite. And you guys might want to take a look at that. Okay? Understand one thing. The fight is scheduled for five rounds. If Connor has ever had a flaw in his career, and he hasn't had very many, but he's been open to admit it, he gets tired. To make believe that you could come off of a layoff that he's been off of, and yes, he'll be looking for the finish, and he'll be looking for that left hand, and he'll be looking to Cowboy out of there. I understand that, but he did the same thing with Nate Diaz, and when he found out that Nate could take a punch, all of a sudden, you're in the later rounds, all of a sudden, you're out of energy. I do feel, in many ways, the miscalculation here is to walk back into a five-round fight. But for today, we can celebrate. Connor and Cowboy is going to happen.